Stampers, Deb Valdo here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to bring you another holiday card. This is done with our Santa Claus, and it comes from the stamp set Sleigh Ride. It not only has 10 stamps in it, but you can also get it as a bundle and get six of the dies to go along with the stamp set. It's just adorable. And what I'm going to show you today, I hope, is a little bit different than you could have ever thought you could have done with this. If you look at this, um, we have some texture on it because of our um, background stamp, and that one is done with the... Um, um, uh, embossing plate or the embossing folder that is one of our bloom benefits believe it or not so this is free so the background says ho 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 um, and that is a free free background and then um, if you can see this and I don't know if you can or not but his little beard um, I always tell people to just you got to touch the man you got to touch him because he's all texturized and I'm going to show you how to texturize him as we go along all right really simple card I added one of our new little bow or our little flowers our little poinsettias on it um, they come in two different colors. They come in the ivory color and they also come in this red color. When you get them, you're going to want to take and take them out of the package and let them air out for a little while because they do smell. All right, so uh, let's get started. I'm going to start by um, layering a couple things. I'm going to layer our background right here. Start it one way and then go the opposite way to finish it off. All right, grab my little crease tool. All right, so there's my background. Now I'm gonna take, and I already pre-embossed my um, layer right here. All right, this is three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to take and lay that down onto, whoops, sorry, this is my um, black piece. We're gonna lay the white down onto the black. Our black licorice and our whipped cream cardstocks here. Now I only let it a hint above the other two. All right, so these measurements, the, the black measurements are just a hint. It's not a quarter of an inch like I normally do. Um, and there's a reason for that. I just want it to be um, just a little bit above. Now I'm going to take and do the same thing with this one. Straight to the paper because we've got our dimension right here in the middle. All right, so here we go. Just make sure your words are right side up because otherwise it'll say, oh. All right. All right, ho, 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 let it snow. All right, so there's our background. We can set that aside for just a moment. I used my uh, Journey ovals to get my circle or my ovals here. So I have a white one and I have a red one. And for this one right here, I used our perforated um, ovals, okay? And they are standard with the ovals right here. All right, yes, I do always cut everything out extra. You know that. So here is our ovals. Um, this is going to be popped up, so we might as well do that. I'm just kind of doing my layers from bottom to top here. All right, so here's that one and that one. And we're going to layer that right off to the side here because we want to see our words. All right, so instead of centering this one, we're going to push it off to the side. So there's our oval right there. Now I'm going to set that off to the side while I do... Um, my uh, Santa Claus right here. So I, I pre-stamped him, I embossed him, and then I cut him out with the die. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color him. So what I'll do is bring in a block, and on my block I have bubble gum for his face, I have the candy apple, um, uh, the candy apple for um, the rest of his his um, coat, and then I have the black licorice and the gold. Um, this is our for our gold ink pad, and I have that for his little belt right there. All right, so I'm going to take my small blending brush. All right, and no, I'm going to take my medium. I always change my mind. I'm going to take my medium, and I'm just going to start coloring. All right, I'm going to start with the. Now for this, I don't need any of the Fusion Blender because I want it to be nice, strong colors. All right, so I'm gonna take the bubble gum for his face and I'm just gonna start coloring. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my Fusion Blender because this is the way I clean my brushes too. All right, and then I want to get some of that 
of that gold on here. And I didn't want any black in there. And I'm just going to do his little belt. Alrighty, now that we have all of that done, what we're going to do now is to get our round tip brush and his face will lighten up. Um, now we're going to take our journey um, modeling paste and I want to grab this because I don't want to get um, a lot of it. My spatula must be downstairs so I'm just going to grab some with my brush. I don't normally do that. There we go. Alrighty, that should be enough. Modeling paste goes a long way and I always put a saran wrap in there to make it so it doesn't dry out. Alright, how many of you guys do that? It just makes it so it's, it, it's much, it just stays better. Now what I'm doing is just popping in some of this. You want it to be textured. So I'm going to take my bloom tool and I'm just going to clean him up just a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to take, see how cool that is? When you have the right tools you can do just about anything, you know? Alrighty, isn't he so cute? He's so adorable, and and I know you can't see it on camera, but I will tell you that um, using this modeling paste for his beard and um, his coat just absolutely makes it so adorable. Let me just grab some of my, um, I think I'll take my small ones, um, and we're going to put them on to this right here. Uh, here we go. The reason I'm doing the small ones is because um, I want to put him on there before I, I put the words on. Isn't he so cute? Alright, let's get this stuff out of the way because I have some stamping to do. Bring in my black licorice and My words. Don't stamp them upside down or it'll say, oh, 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 oh. All right, we're going to stamp the word ho, ho, ho right here. Good. All right, now let's put the top back on that. And I need to find my brush again and my paint palette. And I'm going to color in the words. And this is what I love about our coloring project products. I just saved myself a boatload of money because I don't need to purchase um, markers because we have all of our um, our blending brushes and our reinkers. There we go. There we go. Isn't that adorable? I always leave some Fusion Blender onto my, so it conditions it um, while it's just sitting there doing nothing. All right, so now all I need to do is to add some of my Easy Glide there. Add him to the top like this. I'm actually going to lower him just a little bit so that I can take my amazing Journeycraft glue and add one of my flowers. So I add it to that, and I add it to that, and the two will meet. And there's my card for today. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? Um, I just love it. I think it's adorable. Anybody would love to get that. So it needs to dry, and it needs to just dry. It's just so, it's so adorable. Uh, take care. Have a great day, and thank you for stopping by.